I would say good morning, but it's 2.08 p.m. <laughs> it's Sunday, May something. I think it's the 24th, maybe. I think so. Anyway, um, we've just been doing stuff around the house, watering plants and feeding the sourdough starter and making bread and... I was cleaning out some embroidery patterns that I had shoved in a folder like God knows when years ago and I'm doing a little bit more embroidery now as you all know so going through some patterns purging some things I'm never going to make so I don't mind doing the occasional embroidery or cross stitch project but usually if it's not slow stitching then it's usually just something small um, so all those big giant charts that I had in there yeah I don't need to keep those um, I found some more mini kits. I'm going to work, start working on one of those ish a night. And um, my husband is upstairs. He's absconded with my art room and my computer. He is Zoom chatting with his Masonic friends from California. And then we're going to go run a couple of errands and, um, I don't know, <laughs> cook dinner, you know, it's just a, long low slow weekend right okay so i wanted to show you all what i did so i went and wrote all the color numbers down pulled out swatches of dmc floss and matched up um my swatches of floss with the color number that was on the chart so i know what each one of these is and then what i'm going to do i stuck the thread to one piece of tape If I can do this without messing everything up. I already pulled one off. Oops. All right, where did this one go? Um, we'll figure that out in just a second. So the idea is to do this with them. So I know what each one is. Okay, they're all marked. And is this the best solution? No, probably not. But I can use the floss the kit came with and not dig into my stash. Not that that's a big deal. I have a lot of floss. But anyway, it should all come marked. You know, when you get diamond paintings, which is a newer newer craft thing, all your little diamonds come marked. Can you imagine if you got a diamond painting and all the little diamonds just came in a bag all mixed together? This is not that different. So anyway, all you cross-stitch kit makers out there, mark your floss. I don't care if it's a little piece of tape. Mark the floss. All right, I'm gonna go back downstairs to stitching. I'll be back. All right, so we're headed out for an evening walk. We've had dinner. This is take two, yeah. Um, I'm still working on the little bear counted cross stitch um, kit. I will say between these two little kits, the mouse loft little small tiddlers kit, oh, that's there, they have these line of mini kits called tiddlers. Anyway, it went together very easily, very quick. This one's not going to be that quick, and it might be a two-day project just for one little kit, but we'll see. Um, none of the kits that I've ever done have the floss colors labeled with the color number. I really wish they would do that. It's especially important when you have one like this that has six shades of brown in it, which is part of what's frustrating me, and I've already put one stitch of one color in the wrong place. Nobody else but me will ever notice, but yeah. All right, we're gonna go walking and I'll be back. Well, technically it's still morning, so I can say good morning. <laughs> it's 11.44 a.m. Monday, May 25th, Memorial Day here in the United States. So anyway, good morning. Um, we're just having a lazy day lay-in. It is a holiday here in the States, so my husband is off of work and I am getting ready to put my probiotic in my bottle of water. I'm still working on that stupid little teddy bear from last night. And the Ada cloth um, is just a lot smaller weave than I usually am comfortable working on. I like the, um... so I'm not sure how much you're gonna be able to tell, but the, the little um, um, texture, the squares in the back of the fabric on the seahorse are much bigger than the ones on the bear. And, um, yeah, my eyes aren't that young anymore, so, and even when they were, I usually avoided kits like this. I think if I ever do this kit again, I'll switch out the fabric. Um, 
but it's a lot of shades of brown and it's a lot of color switching. And when I'm done, I'll show you the back, but it's a freaking hot mess. Um, my grandmother would be ashamed. <laughs> um, she always said the back should look as neat as the front and just trust me, it doesn't. Um, and I've had to rip the stitches out a couple times because I miscounted and yeah, I'm just, he's turning out really cute. I can see him coming out. He's going to be really cute, but yeah. Anyway, I've done Popcorn Bear before, who, who is the character that this is, but usually it's on a little big, bigger weave of cloth and he's a little bit bigger. And I think that if I do him again, it'll be, um, it, I'll, I'll follow those uh, same guidelines. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to stitching. Today is a finish this stitch day and edit video day. So mostly I wanna finish the stitch. If I don't get the video edited, I'm not too concerned. I still have tomorrow before things need to air on YouTube, so. I'm gonna get back to it. I'll be back. Okay guys, I got the little bear done. Holy cow. So he's pretty cute. There are a few mistakes, but I think I finished the composition very well. He's still very cute. And I don't know that unless you sat here with the chart next to it and you counted, you would probably find the mistakes. And what is that little white thing in his paw over there? I don't know. I want to say maybe the edge of a blanket or something. Not actually sure, but that was what it, the way it stitched in the chart. So, but my grandmother would be definitely disappointed. Are you ready? Let me wait. So I'm not, my backs have never been super clean. So here's the um, um, seahorse. The back of him is not too bad. This is the little cat. Again, the back's not too bad. This one had so many thread changes and the pieces of thread, um, embroidery thread, embroidery floss they sent you were so short that you had to change all the time. So here's the front, pretty cute, but here's the back. It's just a freaking hot mess. It's a good thing that I'm just going to glue him down to something or use him in a slow stitch or something because yeah, that's just... Anyway. On to the next. I think the next thing I'm going to do is I have this kit for Winnie. It's just ooh, Winnie the Pooh's head. Just his head in a sleeping cap. Hey guys, good morning. I think it's morning. Holy cow. Um, it is Tuesday, May 26th, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, and it's technically still morning. It's 11.40 a.m., so there you go. Um, I spent the morning catching up on all of my writing I should have done yesterday uh, for social media and scheduling posts and things. I didn't, I forgot. I was so involved in embroidery yesterday and getting that stupid little bear done. I mean, he is cute, but anyway, uh, that I forgot. So I did it this morning and I'm working on some other embroidery and a tutorial. And here's a quick sneak peek. I've been using my rubber stamp line to stamp on fabric and then create embroidery. Did you know I have a rubber stamp line? Did you know I have a stencil line, which you can also use to do what I'm doing today? Um, and did you know you could use rubber stamps on embroidery? Um, so I am... Um, I'm not gonna to give too many details away here, but you can use your rubber stamps that you probably have in your collection um, to create a design on fabric that you can embroider and then use in your slow stitching or in your fabric collage or in your art journals or whatever. Um, it's just a new different, I think, way of doing it. Well, new to me anyways. I'm gonna film a video on it, so um, watch my channel for that. And I will be sharing some pictures on social media. So if you're not following me on so social media and you want to, there's a link down in the video description um, that says link tree and then slash my name. If you click on it, you're gonna find all my social media links and you can follow me. You'll also find the link to my Etsy shop where you can buy my rubber stamps or stencils and support the free content here on YouTube uh, and over in the Facebook art groups. So yeah, so I'm going to film this quick little video and then I need to edit last week's vlog because it's supposed to air tomorrow and I haven't even started yet. Mm, and I think there's like two hours of video to go through and get it down to like 20 minutes. So yeah, I better get to it. I'll be back.
Good morning. It's still morning technically. It's just before 11 a.m. on Wednesday, May 27th, I think. Um, got some laundry going. You can hear in the background. Got the downstairs floors all swept. It's a big house, so that was a big job. <laughs> um, and I got some computer work done. I should be getting started on the day's art projects, but I just can't concentrate because I'm starving. So we're going to go have an early lunch and watch a little YouTube while I'm doing that and then we'll get started with some stitching or something. All right, I'll be back. Okay, an Etsy order just came in. I've had something to eat. I'm feeling much better. So we're going to go upstairs and package up said Etsy order for shipping tomorrow. And I've got my iPad in my hand or in my arm. <laughs> I'm going to go upstairs and after I package up the order, I'll sit and do some stitching. I'm going to listen to my friend Mike Deacon's vlog. Um, if you haven't heard of Mike Deacon, he's a mixed media artist here on YouTube and he and his partner Ian uh, both do art journaling videos and things. Anyway, he's got a weekly vlog. Um, I'll link his channel in the description below. But I'm going to sit and listen to his vlog while I do some stitching and whatever other new YouTube videos I can find. All right, I'll be back. Okay, stitching will have to wait because I put the wrong date on the Etsy order and now I gotta go run it over to the drop-off box. So, it's all right, it's only like 10 minutes away. Anyway, I also today changed my um, Facebook um, profile picture, at least temporarily, to reflect one wearing a mask. Actually, I'm wearing a head tube, which I've also made knit head tubes, um, to support and encourage people to do the, the same when they're out in public. And so, um, if you don't follow me on Facebook, you won't know that, but I encourage you to change your profile picture, uh, at least on Facebook. Pick a social media and change it to one with a mask. Um, let's encourage each other to be safe, yeah? All right. I will go get my thing dropped off and then we'll get stitching. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, we're out headed for our annual evening walk. I have a mask. There's literally like no people around. So I feel comfortable not having it on at the moment. I was listening to Dr. Campbell earlier today and he says when you're outside in the fresh air, unless it's really people-y, you don't need one of these. Um, but if it's very people-y, he didn't use that word, of course. Um, no, he didn't. <laughs> He's more, way more educated than I am. He didn't use the word people-y. He said, yeah, he said if, it, if it's very crowded and there's a lot of other people around, then you're unable to maintain social distance and you need to have one of these, whether you're in the shops or not. Probably the fresh air and the breeze, you're very unlikely to catch anything. It's in the shops and in crowded situations you have to be worried about. It's people-like. People-like, yeah. Anyway, we are headed for a walk, but usually as we get closer to the park that we walk near, it gets pretty people-y, to use a Gina word. So I bring one of these with me. Anyway, we're going to go see what we can see and get some steps in. I don't know, it's really hot outside, but... I might need ice cream when I get back. You know, I gotta work on my COVID-20. <laughs> COVID-19. Yeah. All right. Yeah, COVID-20. Uh, anyway, and I, I have a stitch to work on I need to finish, so. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is 10.30ish a.m. on Thursday, May 28th. Um, I just got done a few minutes ago with watching um, Art Joy Sharing's live broadcast and mounting a few more slow stitch pieces to um, adhesive mounting board. We'll walk into the art library and look. Hold on, it's a little dark. So I mounted um, our face, our face, the face I did to mounting board and it's all signed on the back. And I mounted the lemon, and I also mounted the feather. Yeah, so now I'm going to, I think, work on the piece I was working on where, sorry, I dropped something. 
Let's just not film and record and try to move things around like all at the same time because it doesn't work. Um, I think I finally know where the piece I'm going to do that is um, incorporating watercolor, a watercolor painting into a slow stitch. I know where it's going to go finally. So I'm going to finish filming that film part three today uh, where we finish up that piece and do a tutorial with lots of talking and explaining. Um, what else am I going to do today? I don't know. Hey guys, how are you today? So, so I'm in the car again. I've got my mask. It's over that way. Got my hand sanitizer. There's clock swipes in the back. I'm all ready to go. So I don't know for those who are unaware and I've got my Corona hair. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's really long. I have to get a cut, but yeah, anyway. And you know, it's a couple different colors. To say that you're precariously perched on some decor on my dresser is probably the understatement of the century. Just saying. Anyway, we are here in my bedroom. I should be doing other things. I have plenty of art projects mulling around in my mind, laid out on the table, parts pulled for different things. But what am I doing? I'm in my bedroom with a garbage bag. <laughs> I just have this urge to purge some clothes. Um, when we moved, like with other things, like the art supplies, at some point I got tired of purging things and going through things. And I just said, just pack it. Just pack it. I don't care. Just pack it. I'll deal with it later. A year and a half later, I still haven't dealt with all of it. And I think it's time to go through my clothes and my um, dresser and I've done certain sections like my sock drawer and that sort of thing. Um, my tank tops and undershirts and all of that, but I haven't done other areas. So I think I'm gonna do that today and I'm gonna leave you perched here while I go through the dresser because y'all don't need to see my underwear drawer. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> um, but I'm gonna... Okay, the unmentionables are done. <laughs> um, and I've already done the, I already said I have already done in there. I have a few shirts and I've already done those drawers actually uh, before the apocalypse happened, right around Christmas. But it's been a while since I've done the closet and there's sections in there I haven't done uh, ever since before we moved. So, all right, let's get it done. I know for a fact there's some things in there I'm never gonna wear again.
I don't know if you caught it or not. Uh, there's my pile of get rid of. It's kind of bigger than I thought it was going to be. And I found four pair of pants four, that are too big. Um, okay. <laughs> so when I last saw Shannon Green at Creativation, uh, before I moved, was that 2017? 2018? 2017. I don't remember now. Anyway, Shannon, I was significantly, evidently fatter than I am now. I'm still not thin, but I went down a couple pant sizes. Didn't know that. <laughs> Found a couple that do, did fit that I didn't think were going to. So I thought they were going to be too small. Go figure. All right, well. Gloves and everything? I think so. Um, I might have my glove. I know Polly has a glove. <laughs> So the almost son-in-law is doing laps. Cool. The rest of us are just watching him. Yeah, we're watching him do laps. He's doing a good job. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm not, sure he's doing it right. Yeah, I'm not doing laps. Anyway, we're hanging out at the park. We're out for our evening walk. And I think I'm gonna go sit in the bench over there. I don't have my mask on because there's not that many people, but also because I was collecting things and they're in my mask. I know. It's, it's Corona. I know I'm aware it's not the brightest thing, but I'll soak everything in alcohol when I get home. What don't can drink I drink it? Soak it. So yeah, I don't know what to don't tell you. No. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go find that bench and I'm going to have a seat and I'll be back. Hey guys, I would say good morning, but as I wake up the computer, I am pretty sure it's after one o'clock. Let's see, shall we? Uh, oh yeah, 1.16 p.m. Saturday, ma not March, May 30th, holy cow. Um, uh, the SpaceX capsule launched successfully a little while ago. Congratulations to everybody involved and good luck to our astronauts. Stay safe. Um, It's been a crazy 24 hours or more. It's been a crazy week. Um, a little while ago, I posted to my personal page, personal page, personal page, personal Facebook page, and my Facebook art group, A Life of Art and Self Expression, a statement regarding the current world situation. And if you've seen it and you've read it and you've stayed and you've liked it and agreed with it, thank you. If you have read it and you've unfriended me or left the Facebook group, well, I'm probably not the person for you. Before you all get in a huff, let me read the statement to you and you can decide if you want to continue to follow me here on YouTube or not. It's up to you. It's your choice. This is... This was posted by me to my art group where I talk about my journey through life and creativity, where I encourage you all to do the same, where we try to keep politics and religion out of it. But in these trying times, that isn't always possible. I am disappointed in humanity for not standing up and being better about the injustice and the virus, the riots and destruction, the lack of concern for social distance and masks. All of it is disappointing and not constructive. Your skin color, religion, nationality, or sexual orientation should have nothing to do with having equal rights to happiness, health, and safety. I come from a place where I own my family's historical mistakes. One branch has been here in the United States since the beginning, before even. Does that mean slavery was part of the equation? Yes, and I'm ashamed of that. But it wasn't my mistake. And I definitely don't agree with it. And trust me when I say that bat branch of the family was batshit crazy. Some still are. In more recent generations, only two removed from me. One side actively hated the other because they were Catholic. Another choice that makes no sense to me. Let's try to be better. Yes, stand up for justice and what's right. Destruction and violence, however, are not the answer. 
So that's my statement in its entirety. And hopefully the majority of you agree with it more than disagree. I don't believe in the destruction and violence that doesn't get your point across. Someone once told me a very long time ago when they were confronted with a very difficult situation that most of us would just go flying off the handle about, myself included, in her very Southern accent, which I'm not gonna try to mimic, she said, Darling, you always catch way more flies with honey than you do vinegar. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Whether it's true or not, I'll never forget that she said that. Um, kill him with kindness is another one. Does that mean we shouldn't stand up for what's right? We shouldn't stand up for justice and um, humanity? Of course not. We should stand up for those things. We need to stand up for those things. But the destruction and the violence isn't going to help you be taken seriously. In fact, if anything, in my opinion, it does the opposite. And it's also very selfish, I think. Not wearing a mask in public when you know that you could be keeping your germs to yourself and not affecting those around you, whether you think you're sick or not, is selfish. Not keeping social distance, again, because you don't think it's necessarily necessary, because you don't think you're sick, is selfish. I have very strong opinions about these things. I usually keep my, them to myself. But in light of everything else that's happened on top of the virus, I think it's way past time I say something. So, everyone has equal rights. I don't care what you do behind the privacy of your bedroom door. I don't care who to whom you do it with, as long as it's mutually consenting. You have the right to love who you love, and that's none of my business. And I'm not going to think less of you or not be your friend because it's different than mine. Because your skin color is different than mine. Because you're from a different nationality or a different um, religion than me. I have friends of all of those things. And I am not close-minded enough to think my way is the only way. In fact, I'd like to think I'm not close-minded at all. I think we need to, need to be more encouraging and supportive of each other and considerate of each other than way more than we have been, especially lately. This Pandemic has brought out the best, but also the worst in our human society. And I'm talking about a bigger scope than my country and the world in, as, in general. It's about bigger, it's bigger than politics. Um, racism is bigger than politics, although that has a part in it. It's bigger than politics. And it needs to just stop. We need to be done. And if you don't agree with that, maybe it's time for you to not be on my channel anymore. Sorry to say. Anyway, I hope you're not like that. I hope you stay and you're, and you're supportive and you stay for the creativity. And I'm really having a lot of fun in exploring um, my beginnings and my uh, love of stitching and incorporate, incorporating that into other works. I do share what I'm doing uh, daily on social media. So if you want to see what I'm up to daily and maybe get a sneak peek about videos that are coming up, my social media links are down below in the link tree list of links, which is down below. Hey guys, it's about 9.30 on Saturday night and it's been rainy most of the day. It's barely drizzling right now. Um, so yay. Oh boy, you can really see my Corona hair, can't you? Uh, anyway, it's been a weird week. Again, it's been a weird week. I said that already. <laughs> I haven't gotten any art done today. Um, for no good excuse, just I, ha I just haven't. We started the morning by sleeping in and then um, we just puttered around the house and I did some chores and I had to go check the, the P.O. box and it's just been a weird day. 
I'm gonna try to do a little bit of stitching and some drawing before I go to bed, but we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, I hope you all had an okay week. It's been an okay week. It's just, it's weird. The whole apocalypse is weird. Let's just face facts. But I'm st trying to stay creative, stay motivated, and you know, do things that I've been putting off. There's no time like the present, right? Um, remembering to tell those I love that I do love them, that I care about them, that I support them in all things. And um, be there to hear them when they need me to. So I hope I'm doing a good job. I'm trying. I don't know. I am filming a lot with my phone for video for YouTube and so some for Patreon too. So if the tutorials start looking sort of more vlog style tutorials, now you know because I'm, I'm filming them with the phone. Um, I don't know what's up with that. Again, it's been a weird week, so I'm not exactly sure, but it is a thing. Fly. Um, so anyway, I uh, think that's it for now. I um, hope that you like, share, and subscribe, and that um, there's not a mass exodus from my channel. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, that you like the new upcoming content, and... I guess we'll see. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do leave them down below, but be nice. Um, I invite discussions even on contrary opinions as long as they're nice, polite, healthy discussions. Nastiness is not needed. So, <laughs> um, If you want to support or can support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups, please do so. I would appreciate it information on how to do that is down below and if you have some favorite creators i know they would love the support they probably have a way check out their video description and do so if you can and most of us not only do free content here on facebook but we do it on instagram and uh here on facebook holy cow here on youtube but we do it on facebook and instagram and all that stuff so check out their video descriptions and mine see how you can support and if you can't find a way ask because they probably have one they just don't advertise so that's it anyway this for this week you guys stay safe stay healthy stay creative and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it maybe do something nice for somebody else because they deserve it too it's been a tough week all right that's it i'll see you later bye